Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing right now is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's helpful uh, techniques on placing extra love towards yourself when facing change, adversity, and diversity. You know, like, a, you know, you hear me say a lot of times, it's easy for us to constantly see everything negative it's easy for us to go into depression it's easy for us to see everything in a negative vibration and a lot of times we we come across where different things where it's giving us confirmation hey this is that time to isolate yourself this is that time to go in uh seclusion uh for you to go into retreat you know this is time for you to take a break and rest you know we always um, are available for other people when we got to be available for ourselves a lot of times we give out all our energy and when we need it for ourselves we'll just tap the heck out and this is that time where there's different things to help you go through that you know we're going through a lot of spiritual warfare so a lot of uh, different things you know you may be um, you know going through kundalini you're going through ascension you're going uh, through constant dark night of the soul, dark night of the soul, or it, it's just it feel like pitting the pendulum. I know I was just watching um, a little snippet of this movie with uh, what was with, with my boy um, Danny or uh, Donald Glover, uh, Childish Gambino, um, and Olivia Wilde. I forgot the other dude. I know the other girl. She played in Amelia or something like that, and that creepy dude that played in the Creep. I said I never watched that movie again. That mess was too creepy. But I was like, oh my god, that's the dude from Creep. And when Olivia was talking about when I guess she had died or whatever, they brought her back. They were doing some kind of uh, scientific thing. Kind of remind me of the movie uh, like Flatliners. But um, she was like saying her worst fear, you know, and it was just going over and over and over and over again, you know, to where it was her worst fear that, that she had nightmares about. She didn't come to closure. She didn't come into honesty uh, about different things that has taken place in her life. You know, I've watched that. I don't know how many times, but I said, I can't remember what was that part, you know, but I said, I'm going to leave that alone in case somebody hasn't seen it. They want to see that movie. But, you know, um, different things that comes up, you know, whatever that, that you're facing. You know, this is, we have to realize the things that is hard for us to shake. This has been our issue, you know, every lifespan. This has been our issue every time era that we have. Even in our parallel <laughs> entities, they're going through the same thing. If you're going through something where you it was hard for you to forgive, this is going to be that issue that you had. This is that uh, issue when, when it was hard for you to let go. That's going to be the issue that you have. You know, um, when you're not placing love into yourself, you're going to be in situations where that's going to be the issue you had. And these are the things where they're telling you to find helpful techniques. Um, I've taken place, you know, I was listening to this meditative uh, uh, video I was watching. And it was saying, you know, uh, you know, negative uh, experiences, uh, feelings and emotions are our greatest teacher. And they say that anytime that comes up, uh, comes up place love in it. You know, but they're not saying love the actual painful situation, but placing love towards yourself while facing those different things. And when I say all of a sudden when she said that, it was so many tears that came out. Because a lot of times when we're feeling this, we place negative vibrations on ourselves. Like we don't deserve love. We're not worthy of anything that makes us happy. You know, and these are the things that that's not the case. If you wouldn't, if you didn't deserve these things, you wouldn't be experiencing the things you have to let you know. You know, if you've been in a relationship where nothing was never reciprocated, you were doing all the happiness, you, you sacrificed your happiness, you sacrificed your, your self, uh, uh, your self uh, love, your self respect, well being, you know, mental health, all those different things. You're going to be placed in a situation where it's showing you you're worthy of love. This is not. You know, love is something that's reciprocated, it's based on trust, you know, communication, blah, 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 blah. You being around people where you're taken for granted, you know, you're not seen, you're not being appreciated. Those are the things that's showing you had to go through that for you to be able to appreciate yourself. Anything that makes you doubt your own existence is not worthy of your, your, 
connection but you had to be able to go through these things and they're always wanting us it, a lot of times you have to breathe you know there's different things that comes up into your life where it, it can be like an avalanche it can be overwhelming it can feel like it's suffocating you in these things and it's trying to show you you know a lot of times it's hard for us to nurture ourselves through those battles we constantly face and these are the things you know a lot of times they tell you you know well all the time is good when negative things come up you should try try to have a healthy alternative from that situation if anything comes up this really stuck with you for a long period of time of where it was hard for you to really you know let go it could be something that where you you didn't forgive yourself because there there are certain things you should have should have done and shouldn't have done and this and this and that and then they say the healthy alternative for when this comes up instead of allowing yourself to just not just shift into you know this is happening well let me think of something that's positive but being able to place acceptance in that situation and saying I just have to accept that situation for what it taught me maybe it, it was something where I was neglecting myself a lot and making myself available for a lot of people and didn't make myself available for myself now that situation is nurturing to me to nourish my own soul nur nurturing my own existence allowing myself to apply steady boundaries solid boundaries and for that to happen then instead of you know thinking of that as a narrative and saying this has brought me to the point where I'm learning how to say no these are those things to saying I my 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 well-being or anything I change doesn't need an explanation towards other people if this is something that is bettering me you know you don't need an explanation on why you stopped doing this or you had a thing that's doing that so it's just like when different things are coming up they're telling you you know um if you're sad a relationship is broke up and you're really trying to come to the terms of that it's showing you okay allow yourself to show gratitude towards that experience of that rough patch of a relationship and a lot of times it's hard to do that especially if it's really fresh especially if you don't place a lot of love in it they just one loving you back and this was showing you that you lack the love that you did for yourself and it was showing you, even though this was showing you didn't love yourself because you catered to this that long, they tell you don't feel shameful for that. You know, that's not, you know, because a lot of times I've been that way where I felt shameful. Like, why did I allow myself to, you know, continue to go through this? How stupid could I be? But then it was like I had to be able to change the narrative of that. If I didn't go through this, I would have never known that I wasn't placing love into myself. I would have never known that I was sacrificing my self-respect and my self-worth to continue in a relationship that universe was saying this was only a temporary you know uh, situation this was only a temporary season for me to go through this now it's showing me to place that even when love wasn't reciprocated this is telling me to place that love into myself and if I didn't go through this I would never know how to love myself in the correct way I would never know how to prepare myself for that ultimate true love that I went through and so they're telling you these are you know helpful techniques you know you, you breathe you know take that breathing exercise you know when you're breathing in whatever you're focusing on it really has gotten you shaken you know while you're breathing you're saying affirmations in your head I am going to conquer this you know this was only a lesson that was bringing in blessings so I am going to prosper you know it's anything that places I am on that you know and something positive that's going through this I am going to appreciate this situation I'm going to allow myself to separate, you know, from the narrative of that situation and seeing this as a human, uh, 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 a healthy healing, you know, uh, technique from that. You know, you're always having to try to, you know, if you psych yourself out, that a lot of times, isn't like the girl said, if you tell somebody not to look at the, the color green, you know, you're going to do everything you can just because they told you not to do it, you're going to do that. And you know, and that that's why they say there's a lot of times we, we focus a lot on the negative that we got going on in our lives and we don't realize we're neglecting the positive to be able to open up into our lives because we're so focused on something that really hurt us or we're so focused on what somebody said or we're so focused on what we didn't do. And it's just like if these things are, it, a lot of times harsh moments create beautiful beginnings. You know, that harsh ending creates beautiful beginnings you know and these things are are showing us like yes it can hurt for that moment yes it can really shake us for that moment it can have us in a lot of downtime but these are the things that when we allow ourselves to start thinking healthy we start thinking positive you know this uplifts you and saying you know what I, I will never regret what I went through 
you know and it took me a long time for even saying that about my situations of all the things that I went through I would never regret it you know there are certain things that you know when it comes to like people yeah but when it comes to the actual lesson within that no you know um, they always say if you erase all the painful situations where you go in you erase the wisdom that you created through that you you erase the power that you came strongly connected with through those times you you'll you know erase the light of your existence even though that light's there but you won't recognize it because you know those things didn't happen so they always tell you never live in regret you know when you when you're going through different things where you may be having like one of those psychosis you may be going through psychosis and you rock you know a lot of times you know you may think it's silly you know just hug yourself you know and just breathe and when you're breathing out you're breathing out all the things that is not needed in your life it's like you're you're breathing out all the the nasty toxins in your life anything that was you know that was you know detrimental to your soul but you're breathing in something comforting something that's calming something that's healthy and you, you, just, you just allow yourself whatever you're you know whatever you're you're thinking about in that time when you're blowing out allow yourself to be in that mental vibration of seeing when you blow it out is deteriorating is is slowly disappearing you know and you're seeing that as no part of your existence because a lot of times if you you cope i don't like that word cope you know because it's like cope is like you trying to put a band-aid on a broken leg you know me i feel like let me deal with it when I deal with it and allow myself to break it down, you know, I tell people real quick, I got ADD and I got OCD. So I break everything down. It's like, why? okay, why did this make me mad? Maybe because I cared about what that person said. Or maybe I was still stuck in the process of believing what they defined about my life instead of seeing how I define my life. And, you, you know, and these things, you know, has happened and see a life. And it's just like when we start breaking things down on why certain things still affect us. It will show you exactly where that healing is coming from. That's why a lot of times when they're telling you you're still triggered by some things, it's telling you you're still affected by that whatever that, that moment or what was said or what was done that was still triggered by that situation. So they're telling you if that's a trigger there, that's where the healing needs to take place at. Maybe you need to you know, journal and write down why does that still affect you the way it does? What, what do you feel like should have been the healthy alternative if this could be fixed? But if it can't be fixed, what is, is it that that situation, what do you think that situation was trying to teach you? What is it needing you to desperately learn? Not just about yourself, but you know, how you carry yourself. Where, where is your, your energy? Where's your focus? Where's, you know, all those different things and showing you what are these things to do and then you write down what would you like what new you know because the universe is always telling you to try something new you know and it's when they're doing that trying something new you know just to be able to get out of that comfort zone of what we tend to do regularly you, you never know what other thing what other hidden talents you got is waiting for you to do that because you're you know you're merging to something new so I hope you are able to resonate with that and I hope those are helpful and hints to be able to you know to put you in um and a happier vibration you know we're all going through change and is not e change is not always easy but a lot of times we don't realize our hardship is because we try to figure everything out our own when universe is like can we when, can we step in now you know because we're trying to tell you these things we sometimes we try to do a lot of things on our own and that's where we mess up at and then there's times that you know um that we go against the, the 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 resistance of change and that usually makes it harder for us you know they always tell us you know we got to nip it in the bud allow ourselves to heal from things the more we go with ignoring the issue the more it it you know it it vibrates it, it goes in it's a massizing and stuff like those things and you don't want that you deserve anything that's in your life that's going to be nurturing and promising towards your life and for us to be able to reach those you know, we have to be able to go through some hardships where, where when we finally get to where we at, we'll never take anything for granted. And we won't allow ourselves to, you know, uh, go unappreciative of the blessings that's coming in to, to add towards that. Because whatever blessings you got coming in into your life is going to be blessings of a lifetime. And these are the things that you may have to go through all this hardship so you won't foobar that up. <laughs> you know, when you really close the door on your blessings, now that'll be a lifetime of regret. You know, they're like, dang, if I want to do this, then you'll understand why they took so long to give you what you get. Because they really want to make sure that you are not going to do anything that is going to sabotage something that can really impact your life in a big way. So I hope you are able to resonate with that. You know, much love to you. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe in everything that you do. I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, 
and uh, just with spiritual networking be able to give you a deeper understanding about your purpose uh, just being able to broaden out the perspective you know if there are certain things you may have been may have been experiencing or have experienced that you really want light shed on it I try my best to be able to help out as well you know whatever we discuss is confidential you know I'll be able to help out as best way as I can and I also leave my uh, link to my podcast as well I told y'all I'm gonna start doing different content about that like about uh, healing your inner child if you uh, know that you're being gaslighted um, are you experiencing emotional abuse are you in a toxic relationship different things like that you know I don't like talking about stuff like that but universe is you know telling me this you know because it broadens our, our intellect when we do you know different things that we start talking about things that make us uncomfortable you know to create comfortability of being uncomfortable so that's what would make me do so if, if you ever feel generous as well I also leave my cash app there at the description box below and like I said I hope you're having a great weekend please be responsible and safe and whatever you're trying to manifest into your life um i send so many blessings to you that whatever it is is going to bring you to your knees whatever levy that breaks of blessings i make sure it overflows and it never goes dry so i'm sending that towards your way and you know sending so many much love to you stay persistent and consistent with with everything that is you know luring you to do a lot better for your life because you never know you may give up tomorrow just because the enemy knew that you you're going to be blessed today so keep going okay keep going and through you know our social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way and i'll see you in my next much love peace